What's going on today, guys? Today we're doing uh, front struts in this Dodge Ram 2014. Uh, we'll do a quick little video showing you how we change these struts out. First thing you do is jack and support your vehicle and then remove the wheel. The next thing you're gonna need to do is remove your brake caliper. Uh, remove the whole bracket and caliper assembly off of the hub and set that aside. You can then remove your rotor and set it aside. The next thing to do is remove this upper ball joint. So we have to break that nut free, remove that nut, and hopefully separate it fairly easily. Next, we're going to remove the tie rod end. Basically the same thing, break the nut free, remove the nut, and separate the tie rod. I was fortunate with this one, they definitely don't always come apart this easy. Same with this ball joint, I was really surprised it came apart that easy. Next, we're removing the bottom nut of our sway bar link so that our control arm will drop down. Now I'm going to remove the bottom bolt holding the strut itself in place. This bolt may be very tight and need a breaker bar to loosen it. There's a lot of tension on that bolt, so you'll have to drive it through. Moving to the top of the strap, we have to remove these three nuts that hold it in the top mount. On the left side of the truck, you can get your impact gun or ratchet down through the top, but on the right side here, you have to use a wrench or else remove the air box. Now that we have some components out of the way, you can get in there and really see where this strut is leaking, and this is the reason we are replacing it. The next thing I'm doing here is removing the axle nut. Uh, we need to be able to push that axle back through the hub in order for the hub to lean forward without pulling strain on that axle, so we have extra room to get our strut out. Sometimes it's good to have somebody put their foot on the brake and loosen this nut before you remove the brakes because they are hard to get off sometimes. The next thing we have to do is loosen our control arm bolts on the frame there on the inside and the outside of the control arm. Now when loosening those you have to be careful because they are used for an alignment purpose with your vehicle. There is an eccentric cam lobe built into that bolt so make sure that when you're loosening them you're loosening it from the nut side and it's best to hold the bolt side still. You can see in this video where it is starting to turn on me, which will mess up your alignment. So the best thing to do is put a ratchet on it like I have here, hold it in place, and just loosen the inside nut. By loosening these nuts, it will allow the control arm to drop freely. Mine here was being held up by the sway bar link, but with a couple quick taps, it all dropped down, allowing me to remove the strut. Next time, I would have something underneath that hub, preventing it from falling so far, just in case that ABS line was pulled too tight. I now have the new strut here. I am just fitting it up in place, and we're just going to do the exact reverse procedure of what we just did to remove it. I'm going to use my floor jack here to prop everything up in place. It comes in handy whenever you're doing front end suspension work like this. When putting things back together, I tend to like to leave nuts loose, like the axle nut. I won't tighten it right up. Same with the ball joint and tie rod. Just make sure everything goes back together in place. Sometimes if you put things tight, it's hard to maneuver them around to get other things together. Once you get everything together, Always make sure all the things like wheel nuts, axle nut, everything is torqued to spec as well. A lot of new parts will have the torque specs in the instructions with the part. The torque spec for the axle nut on this truck is 185 foot-pounds and the wheel nut torque is 130 foot-pounds. 
So that about wraps up this job. I hope uh, my video here will help somebody so they can do this job themselves and save themselves some money. All you need is a little bit of patience and some basic hand tools. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Oh my goodness, you junk.